Okay guys, here's one reason why Doug and I come to the junkyard up here in Marcy, New York, is that you got good snow tires out here. I mean, wheels are junk, but the Subaru is all four. Now, if I didn't sell my Forester, I'd be pulling these things because I'd run them. All right, maybe this one's not so great. It's got a little flat, but it might just needs air. But honestly, if I had the old Forester, I'd be pulling these and putting them on. You don't see these down in Pennsylvania, these types of uh, snow tires, stuff like that, because you don't need them as much up here. You get snow like 90% of the year up here, pretty much. <laughs> but hell yeah, I like it. Too bad I got rid of that car. Here's one reason I'm here, guys. <laughs> This is a Believe, oh man, oh, 2011, let's see, yeah, 2011 Super Outback, but I want this rear drive shaft, if it's any good. No other real goodies in there. Let's see. Oh. It's mainly out, it's just the car's not level. You can see it's already out. Just out of the way, I just don't know if it's any good. Eh, it doesn't look good. If you look right at that joint there, you see grease. And it usually means it's gone bad. I've been on the fence, I was buying myself a new one. Like two hundred dollars here, I can get it for forty. But yeah, no, I don't know. Don't know what to do, guys. Don't know what to do. I like this red though. It's pretty red. You need a clock spring. You get that right now. Ooh, this thing got ripped apart. Well, let's see if there's any other goodies for me on here. I don't really look like it. <sighs> All right, well, I guess onward and outward. We'll say. Oh, geez, it is slippery out. Nothing like a junkyard on a cold winter day. I mean, it's pretty out here. All the snow, I like it. Oh, it looks like someone was running my hack though over here. I've been known to run cardboard in my radiator on the cold winters so that I get half the radiator to keep myself a little more warmer while driving around and get warmer quick up times. I actually just made one for my uh, Subaru Outback as plexiglass. It slips right here uh, in an Outback. Uh, I'll let you know how that goes. I've also seen I think a little better gas mileage out during the winter time because the motors and keep Working as hard to keep warm Huh, I never knew they did that. Do you guys see that? Oh, I'll zoom in a little bit I didn't know the Jeep Put the Patriot in the back of the bumper like that never saw I never happened to see that Huh Cool. All right We'll move on this one might be a better candidate for me. Man, guys, this ice is slippery out here today. Oh, wow. That's a hell of a hit. Hell of a hit, guys. Let's see. Ooh, it has a uh, auto dim mirror. Nothing too special, to be honest. I thought that would have been the garage one. All right, let's see. Let's look at this drive shaft. Uh, huh, that doesn't look too bad. It's kind of hard to see, but it looks halfway decent. Uh, not too rusted up. Bearing looks good. So uh, let me go try to pop this one and see how it looks. This thing is a 2012, it should work. Alright, let's let's go at it. 
Okay guys, before I actually went and pulled this drive shaft, I was like, you know, let me check the mileage. So I built this little thing here with two terminal ends. You go to my positive and my negative and just connect it up to the battery. It's a really simple thing. Just check how many miles you're in a car before you go pull something. And you have the key, like I do. We'll go in here. So it doesn't look like I'll be pulling that drive shaft. It has just about as many miles as my car. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Um, might be better just get one from the junkyard. It's a hundred bucks. They at least guarantee it's good for me for 30 days. So, you know, we're gonna just uh, leave it as it be. Can anyone tell me why Subaru seats stain so well? It's something I hate in mine. Like this is just so scuzzy looking and it's just like a little drop of water. You get water stains. I really dislike it. Here's a classic. I love me an old Cherokee Sport like this. My buddy used to have one in crayon, like the crayon red. Oh, and it's a five speed. I'd love to rock something like this one day. Make it my new plow Jeep. Rock a little. Oh, I think it's, to me it looks like it was an automatic and they converted. Props to you guys. That's cool. Yeah, manual windows, you know. I like it. I don't like these wheels though. I think this is a shoe designed by Jeep. These look ugly and hideous to me. Just not good. I like when you have a full length back window like that. My brother used to have a two door and it split right here and had a vent window, always leaked to water, it was a pain in the ass. This is cooler to me. Okay, all right. I'm a jeeper. I like having like a nice tow hitch on mine, front and back. But what is this? Tell me, what are you gonna do with this? It's, it's like two fingers. Why you even put it there? Why? Doing a little disgrace to us here, guys. Oh man, I, I mean, I, I don't get it. Like, what can you do with that? Huh. Well, I'm gonna move on because that just kind of dis disgusted me on that one. Nice Jeep though, besides the tow hitch. Oh, it's cold out here today, guys, and icy. I don't know if you can see it, but that's all ice. I've almost wiped out like six or seven times. I'm on the hunt for some tow hooks. There's a viewer who keeps asking about if we have tow hooks, tow hooks. Doug's out. I have a set of WK ones that I found that are up for sale. But I'm trying to find some WJ ones for this guy. So, oh, look at them snow tires too. See that guy? This WJ got some good ones. Look at them. Nobby. Nobby. Yeah, this is why, guys, you got to come up here during the winter time. You just see so many cars with snow tires on them. And they're good. We're also going to venture into Chevy World over there somewhere. I've really been there, but I gotta look see if they have any Traverses or Enclaves or Acadias. <clears throat> All right, enough of me jibber jabbing. Okay, guys, here's another reason why I'm here today. My cousin has a 2001 2002 Subaru Forester and he blew up his timing belt. Uh, one of his gears went bad yesterday. I pulled it apart just to see which one. And I'm gonna try to get it and see if we can fix it. And these get it running a little bit, even though it's misfiring, it still might work out for them. Now, this is the sticker I was looking for. It said it was serviced at 162,000 miles. So I'm gonna do that same hack I did before, connect my little d battery to these terminals and see the mileage of the keys in there. Um, so, just to make sure it doesn't have a crap ton of miles or we see if it's an oil change sticker. Sometimes, if you luck out, and there isn't one, you can usually see. Oh, they can actually down here. If you look, you can see it's 205,000 as of August 2019, it looks like. So it actually might be good right here. You see the odometer reading on the inspection sticker. So I think I'm gonna pull it. She only have a, a 40,000 on it, which is halfway through its life, but it's not that bad. Stop, I'll show you something really weird on this thing. 
Can you see this? Right here, looks to be like a lug nut. And someone really changed up this thing here. You can see it, usually the bolt facing down that's passed through the whole system. I don't know. So kind of see so the trick to getting these crank pulleys off is taking the belt and feeding it like this feeding up on it right here so as I push up is you hold itself and we're just gonna oh See the tensioner he needs that guy that blew up on him I'm gonna get him all this stuff this this water pump I'll leave I'm gonna get that idler there yeah everything looks pretty good on this one all right let's get over here this time Bitch. So I've been digging for the past 10 minutes trying to find a 12. I've ripped the power steering pump off. I ripped off so many parts, the alternator's over there now. I can't find where I dropped this thing. <sighs> Doug says finding tools in the junkyard is great, except when it's your own. Son of a... Well, I'm gonna keep digging and see if I can find it. If not, I'm gonna give up and I have to buy 12. <sighs> I am victorious. This 12 ended up all the way back here in the back of the motor, and I was taking it off right here in front of the power steering pump. Man, that was magical. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. This is been a long day already. See you in the garage. Sign out. Woo!